G'day Westy here. Okay, this setup can be set up purely just for doing a quick tail setup if you've blown a servo or something along those lines, or you just want a quick rundown on how to set your tail servo up through the Icon Flywheelers controller. So buckle in, strap up, and um, let's get into it. This is the tail servo setup only um, with the Icon. I've already um, I've just changed the servo, so. Um, so what you've got to do is make sure your tail servo is disconnected. Turn on the transmitter, turn on your um, controller. I've got my Bluetooth controller here on the icon over there. It's flashing away. And I've got my little Bluetooth app on my phone, which I'll click into life now. And I'll connect it up. I'll show you how to do that in previous videos actually. And that's back in the menu. Okay, so now what we want to do now as we want to scoot across, I'll just zoom into the actual screen of the Bluetooth for you. And what we're going to do, we're going to um, go straight across to the transmitter section. And with the tail, we're going to see how much the tail moves when I move my uh, stick on the transmitter from left to right. So this is the first adjustment you do. First, if you can see that nose left and nose right, I've got a zero there, and then when I move my transmitter hard to the left, I'm getting about 68 one way, and about 68 the other roughly, about it's zero in the centre. First thing, I'm, I am, when I move nose left, it's moving nose left on the, on the direction here, it's moving to the nose left, and same with this way. So that's correct. We can fix that up later, but um, if that's wrong, don't worry about it. We just want the 100% set up first. Okay, so how we do that, we go into our transmitter and we get into the servo setup section, go to the travel section, oops, go, go to the rudder, travel. And we want to change the settings here so that when you go um, to left, nose left, it goes up to 100%. So I'll zoom out so that you can see both of those things at once, hopefully. Oops, wrong one. Um, I'll come in the other side. When I pull this to the left, I need to increase this until it goes up to 100%. And same for, same for the other side. that way, 99 that way, it's pretty good. Alright, and on the transmitter, you can see that it's gone all the way down to, or up to 135 on one side percent and 136 on the other. Okay, so that's that part done, so that's the first stage. Um, so basically you've got to turn everything off again to hook your servo up. you short it out of course. Make sure it's connected right in there. Turn your transmitter back on. Back on. Turn your setup back on again. Okay and we're back in again. So now what we've got to do is we've got to set the travel in correlation with your servo on the actual helicopter itself. So open your blades up a little bit so when you when it turns from left to right it doesn't hit the rudder. 
what we need to do is we need to go across on your little menus on your on your Bluetooth app. Now that's set. Cruise across, slide across till you get to the tail servo, and this is where you can change the direction of your um, servo. So you can press this um, servo reverse button here, and that will change the um, actual servo to go if your nose left and right's wrong. Right. So it's binding up on nose left, so you just back it off. And once that's done, scroll right across to the book again, and then power down. Oh, you need to actually go back in. If you're using, I'm using my, um, uh, my gyro in, the, in this software here so it's got to be on 45 to be started and so I need to adjust that up a bit to get a bit more um, a more positive gain but you'll be able to tell straight away if it's working because when you go back into your normal mode when you move it's actually countering countering when I'm going that way and it's also so that's going to stop actual spinning so uh, that's, so that's all working the gyro side so hope that helps it's probably five five minutes of confusion for you guys but um, yeah it's been a while since I've mucked around with the icon and I thought I'd um, just show you how to quickly do the tail only if you're doing a tail change, uh, servo change thanks for watching, tune in, catch you later, bye